Do my masteries look fun? Uh, from what I can tell, yes, but I have not looked at Kajik's masteries in quite some time. That looks fine to me. Yeah. I played a lot of Kajik. I think he's been misplayed this season. I've done some interesting stuff with him. Some, like, cheesy stuff where I've gone, like, uh, I've run, like, um, 15% CDR. I, I don't do this anymore, but I did it once, like, in Rinse of Masteries and got cooldown boots and brutalizer. Or not brutalizer, uh, cooldown boots and elder lizard. Mm -hmm. And just gone in gangplank, like, constantly. That was back when you evolved R first. It mm -hmm. was just, it was pretty disgusting. Um, I don't do that anymore. I still, I still like to go, um, uh, CDR boots sometimes, though, for the just early, uh, Cooldown reduction. It's all um, with forty percent CDR is like a, I think a fifty-two second cooldown or something. Mm -hmm. um, it's pretty, pretty strong. Oh, oh. Right, Sorry. Now, also, what's something that you should be doing inside of champions like? Wait, what? What are you thinking currently inside Champion Select? Um. Well, right now I'm thinking that Bannonet or any of this, but I already know. Um, I'm thinking that that's a Lissandra top who is mm -hmm. actually possible to gank if uh, Nara plays it right. He can cancel her cloth. And um, that would be ridiculous because after that she's pretty screwed. Mm -hmm. uh, um, the kill pressure on Zed would be pretty huge um, with. Annie's first. Mm. And bot lanes, I haven't seen their AD yet, but they have Leona Jarvan, so that's gonna be like slaughter fest. Yeah, Leona Jarvan Lucian. It's gonna be a bit of a slaughter fest, I think. Okay. But then again, Trist and Janet can sort of disengage off that. So, um, I feel like the bot lane isn't really a lane I can gank, but I could definitely gank top and uh, mid would pretty much be free kills um, if get a uh, flash pepper on the bed. Mm -hmm. For sure. Um, Jarvan's counter gank against Kha'Zix is okay. Um, I think Kha'Zix might have the edge though, just because like, he can get out of Cataclysm pretty easily. Kha'Zix, well he has the edge inside of the jungle. He also has the edge in straight up 2v2s. Um, he does yeah. not have the edge, however, and uh, if he gets counter ganked, he's really hurt if he gets counter ganked by Jarvan. Yeah. Counter ganking Jarvan is good for Kha'Zix, though, of course. So. Yeah. Kha'Zix and Rengar have, like, I like both of those champs, because I used to play more of a reactive um, style, where I would ward up the enemy jungle and sort of mirror them, and then just counter gank. So I played a lot of Rengar and Kha'Zix, and I think Rengar has some of the best counter ganks. You can see that in Pearls when Dandy did that in like game four. Mm -hmm. It was just crazy. They completely won the game. So, uh... oh. What is that Lissandra skin? What? Uh, Blade Queen. I've never seen that. I'm not a big fan of it. Makes her ice kind of, uh. Does it, does it make it green? Yeah. Blade Queen? What's the lore behind it? Is there even one? Um, no, I have no idea. Okay. I think they just made it because they thought it would look cool. I think her, I think her, um, headgear looks pretty nice, her helmet. The... the well, yeah, the helmet looks face. nice. Yeah. The helmet looks nice. Shockblade Z? That's what the white Z's call? Yeah. Huh. Leona not connected. What do they, what's the translate do in Korean? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I've actually been testing, like, I have kind of a theory on Kha'Zix that, um, his Q of all first is actually okay for solo Q. If you, um, you get a few points in W for the sustain and then oh, max Q evolve it, you have invade, you're like 
Because if you're invading, they're always isolated. It's like three kills. Uh, translates to like electricity. It's like electricity knife or electricity blade is what it is a bet. Well, no, it's not electricity. It's I guess it translates to shock blade. Yeah. Yeah. What do you What do you think? Uh, what on the Codrix evolution? I think his evolution should always be dependent on how the game's going, not uh, preference. Um, like you, you can't. Um, like obviously, his evolutions they all have core components, and some of them can feel really nice. But you're not gonna get the wrong evolution if the game doesn't call for it at that current time. If you're yeah. if you're just ripping people to shreds and stuff, okay? Obviously, you're gonna get E. Like even though, L one. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, is it true? Um, but then also since the changes to Codrix's his evolution timings and paths are a little bit different, but, yeah. Yeah, pretty much everyone gets W, because that's why they see an LCS, the Janet and stuff. It's really good for utility well, and all that. Right. But, w is uh, for, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, I was going to say, my theory with, like, um, potentially evolving team first, if you're ahead of their jungler, is just disgusting. Because you can evade him and like, into the kill him, pretty much, get out. Well, W, I guess I can address them both. W is for, the reason that you see it so much in LCS and OGN is because the W's wave clear and the utility is monstrous for Drake fights, contestants, battle over the straight, you know, dragon, you know, yeah. uh, baron, blah, 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 okay? Um, so W kind of does have a set law, not completely, but that's why you see it, is because rank 5s and solo queue are completely different monsters. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but yeah. Nice. Red to wolves is almost always correct. I think I might need to head towards mid. I think Jarvan might gain any. Yep. Check Jarvan CS. As soon as he came on the minimap, that should have been your first thing. Because if he had 10 CS, then you know that his rates are gone and they're not even up. But if he doesn't, then you know that he can go to rates. Did you smite it? No. No. W out. What? I don't know what she's doing. I was just gonna do damage to him. You could. No, he's waiting for Jarvan. Yeah. That wasn't even. That wasn't even. Like. Your fault, I don't think. Yeah, eat the midwave. Oh, jeez, don't miss the CS. <laughs> also, if you're gonna go and counter jungle. Okay, it is obviously a really important aspect of jungling. You have to get better at the counter smites, especially with season season five approaching. Well, when I when I got there, was it already gone? Uh, I don't kind of replay it in my mind. I don't think it was. I think you could have smited it. I think okay. he smited it. I mean, his smite was obviously up because he ganked mid and then went there. Um, 
So, okay, his pathing was blue wolves, red, mid wraiths, and then he came back in. So, check his CS. Well, ah, you don't, you don't tab. Okay. This is good for 14. Uh, Let's see it. He's at 15. Okay, he didn't do wolves. He circumvented wolves. He did white, because he's at 15 CS. Okay? okay? That means that if he if he does elect to go back into the jungle, white is a little bit strong. So, because it's an evolved white, or it's a respawned white, it means that it hits him harder. It's also harder for him to clear, which means that he would lose more HP. So when you watch him go back into the jungle, okay, um, you can also then try to calculate how you can go about counter jungling. Like, timing, timing a jungler's CS is really important, because it tells you where he's been, and also when he'll go back there. Okay. Yeah, I was watching your stream once. It was actually the first time I saw your stream. And mm -hmm. uh, it was really interesting, because you were able to predict exactly what the jungler was based off the CS, and what camp was the other. Yeah. I think you were playing Master E? I don't remember exactly. Uh, probably. I play E a lot. Sometimes. Okay. okay, so that's six, and he's still five. I gotta be really careful. Oh god. Okay. Like behind enemy line. Now remember, you ate about two and a half waves of Annie. So Zed might hit seven around the time Annie hits six. <clears throat> now that may not seem too big, but it's about a Q's worth of damage on Zed. Yeah. <clears throat> because of the base stats. Oh, Jargon. No, you could have easily killed that smite and left away. Oh, you got the smite. And see, as you got the smite, your Kajik stood still. Okay? Like, initiate faster clicks so that there's no pause. You know what I mean? Uh, right. they could they could have killed you. I don't know what just... Yeah, okay. No, I... I, I I've successfully, like, made a... behind it. Based off my decision. Yeah. Sucks. So Jarvan's blue's up. He's gonna go to his blue. Cosmic has no hole and he has hole. So I think maybe we could create those. Well, if you do have gank potential, it would be in mid. And because you know that there's a pink ward in left side river and Zed just came from it blindly, okay? Probably know that there's no ward on that side. Now, Jarvan's on the right-hand side because of the game timer, okay? He has to collect his blue, and then he's going to be at wolves. That means if you gain from the right-hand si right side, you are susceptible to a counter gank, but you're also susceptible to a counter gank from an extended trade. Yeah. Okay, so Jarvan... Tippers. Oh my god. She didn't even have stun. You shouldn't have gone in. Um. Yeah, we got a splash shot, so I'm gonna come back. My up. Yeah, you're out of mana though, you shouldn't be sticking. Yeah, I oh, round. Uh, Jarvo in spot, so I went to go get the board. But I think I'm probably gonna take this blue then. Uh. I would... Jarvan's not giving blue to Zed. Um, well, Jarvan's not giving blue to Zed because Zed's snowballing, and Jarvan was compromised because he ganked so heavy. Maybe, yeah. So... Do you think I should give it to her then? She's... I think you kind of have to, yeah. Okay. You don't want to keep hurting your laners. Okay. Even though you're a carry jungler. She told me to take it. Oh, okay. Annie's nice. Nice girl. So wait, when she said take it, did you? How did Nar solo kill Elisan? What? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to figure out. What? <laughs> what? Uh. Okay. 
shouldn't do wolves. No! Okay, good. I do. Is he doing raids? No. Do you think I should do raids right now? I felt like you should have done raids. Sometimes when you're doing a jungler camp, it's optimal to choose to do the jungler camp that puts you in the ability for pressure. Yeah. Jarvan's at raids. You could have killed that pink. Jarvan was at raids. Leona, Lucian were visible. Lissandra's top. Zed can't do anything. But now you've given Jarvan time to react. Oh my god. Uh... That's good though if the AD carry gets it. He might try to jump into a. Uh... Oh my god, Tristana, W auto. Ooh! Bullshit. <gasps> oh, what? Did she get him? Holy mother of god. Okay, there was a lot of mechanical errors there. Did she get him? Oh, heaven help. What's your mana? I guess I'm gonna you get him. Yep. Look around the map more. I didn't even realize Top Tower's HP was so low, because your screen doesn't go there enough. Like, you have to monitor, um... Yeah. There's a thing called, uh, I call it anyway, my terminology, relief. It's when you, uh, you go to a lane to enable your laner to recall safely without compromising your team. It gives you XP, gives you some CS, etc, etc. Why did you W into the, uh, I guess just to check? Okay. I was just checking. It's like playing through stuff. Somewhere. I'm not gonna say mm -hmm. the Oh, Nara's almost good spot. Not the best period. We're so slow, this is awful. This bike is slow, I think. If you die but get Drake, it is worth it. Where were you? I'm behind. Whoa, dude, what are you, gay? No, okay. Um, jeez, wow, no resets or anything, huh? Wow, Tristano. I got it. Did you clean up? Triple? Yeah. No triple, they split, so I got a double. Okay. Go back and get Drake. Drake, not mid! Okay. Get Drake. Get. Yes. Alright, good. What are you planning to get for your next item? Uh. Here. Can just smite it earlier. Remember what I said earlier about like the yeah. the Jarvan thing? Okay. You're gonna die, aren't you? Oh my god, he could have some spawn. And she had heal. Oh man. Okay, yeah. I think I'm just gonna pick up uh oh damn, I don't have these. Uh I really wanna get a brutal. She had heal! <gasps> Hey, what do you think I should get? I got 1600. I'm thinking Brutalizer, but then I wouldn't get tier 1 boots yet, so I should probably go boots and come down into Brutalizer. Yeah. Br Brutalizer boots is actually fine in this situation. If you want to keep applying presence and then also maximize your carry potential, that's fine. Um, yeah. However, you're only going to get one more damage item because of your team's dynamics. Yeah. No need to so get you, mobile did boots. you know trick on Cosmic? Throw your W out and deep, and you get the heal from it. Uh, what? Uh, I I I don't I don't play him myself, so I don't yeah, know. Yeah, no, like... that's why I I mean, I know you can W before you leap, but is there any difference? Yeah, if you, cause W heals you if you're close. Um, 
So oh, okay, 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 right, right. Enough, it's sort of like the modified version of the uh, way that you used to be able to get cosmic. <laughs> yeah. For some reason, I tried to block that skew. Like, Push mid, get rates, recall, fertilizer. And ninja tabi, I guess. Or I could go more cards, I guess. Oh uh, no. How many ways do they have to activate? Do they ninja tabi over mercs? That's what I'm thinking right now. Uh, ninja tabi. Yeah, I, 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 yeah. I think I think mercs are definitely better against the uh, Leona Lissandra for sure. Well, it depends. How you're gonna play the game? You should never be in proximity to get solar flared. You could have killed him. Did you kill him? Oh god. Okay. Nice. Really good. Really, really good. Collapse on Garvin. Nice. Good. Great. And then while you're doing this, oh god, she just pinged Tristana. Okay, like ping, 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 ping. Look, so you guys just killed something, okay? And yeah. look at look at the communication on the team. G G yeah. G J team buying. That's fucking abysmal. Like, there should have been five pings, like three at the mid lane minions, and then two at the mid lane tower to communicate get the tower. Then you should also ping bot lane to, you know, get everyone's, you know, eyes off their fucking second monitor anime hente and, uh, onto the, you know, minimap and shit so that they see the minion wave accumulating. Yeah. Lissandra teleported yeah. top. Go bop her. Just dive her under tower, because she doesn't have anything. No, they're, they're... Are they they're all, all there? Collab. Yeah, they're all collab. Okay. Sorry. Okay, okay. And there's a pink in top. Okay. Clear, no, 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 before you recall, clear your, your gold on your jungler item. Don't be inefficient. No, recall! Your recall, un unless you're gonna fight Zed. I was going to, but he left, so I'm just getting the farm and then B. Don't just get the farm and then B. Push one more wave so that the lane starts pushing so that you don't have to worry about telling someone to go bottom or go bottom yourself. Okay. Darwin's at white. Yeah. Oh, what? Make it out? Yeah. Okay. I can't go bot there because Darwin's bot side. Yeah, that's so fine. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna recall and buy. So with Zed being bottom, you guys should get top. Yeah, we are. Someone already picked it. Do you see what All I right. did there? Yep. <laughs> Alright, so uh, I'm thinking uh, Randuins. Yeah, you need Randuins. Uh. I don't know what the hell you're gonna turn the claw farmer into. Yeah, I'm just gonna sell it eventually. I just. Well, I, they have. Well, yeah. yeah.
<laughs> burst it, and as you're bursting it, stay to the very back. I got the smite, but that's like the worst smite I've ever done in my life. <laughs> Whoa, 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 What? No, what? Wait a minute, hold on. Jarvan leapt on Tristana like it was a pedophile on 4chan, and you just, like, turned a blind eye. Yes, you're a carry jungler, but Tristana carries harder. Yeah. You know? Like, protect her. That's why you're only building two damage items and then going into tanky. You don't need to deal shitloads of damage when you have a Tristana and an Annie in the game. There's sustained periodic damage. Yeah. Someone's got death tab, that's gonna be like a huge, huge power spike for her. Because yeah. she had to mm -hmm. have Rod first, and Rod's been stacking. It's about, it's over halfway stacked. That's pretty big. Okay. Ow. I don't agree with any itemization, but. Yeah, I mean, that's not what I would go either, but I mean, it will be a power spike. Should've just gone Zanya's into death cap. You don't need to go raw at any in this team comp. I'll be going. I almost have Omen. I think once I get Omen, it's gonna be good. You can sell your cloth armor if you're not gonna get, um... Uh, 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 thorn mail. I don't think that you should get thorn mail this game, so... You can sell it. So... so we get to a point that... Yeah. I have to fight that thorn mail. Okay, like hyper -like. Yeah. You know what I'd like to see a season five is an AD armor item. That would be nice. Because there's AP armor items, there should be an AD armor item. What? Oh my god, no. Please don't no, go go to bottom, okay? Ping bottom and then ping bottom tower, okay, while you're all shoving mid. Like, apply pressure at two places at once, okay? It's like when you're having sex, and like, you know, like, you're, you're getting sensation in one part and sensation in another, and it feels great, okay? It also feels great when you're applying pressure at two places at once, and the opponent's forced to react. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, I gotta insert my mana now. We gotta do a team fight, and I get, like, two resets with the out of mana. Look at this, look, look, look. And it's just like it's just like a normal person having sex. They all just go to that one sensational spot. They have no clue what they're doing. It's alright. Okay, so you went bottom, so you're gonna have to move your way back up to the nipple, which is top lane eventually. Yeah. So you think I should go move it now? They're just defending. But we're slowly hopefully getting our heads. Is that what? She said it. <clears throat> people, I don't know, we're at least forcing them to not play how they want to play. I don't know why you guys are pushing this hard. This is like a woman that's incapable of hiring a cesarean. say that about that fight. You could have easily killed Lissandra. Smite the smite the white to get mana. Uh, okay. 
It's okay. I mean, the fight's really stupid. Like, you don't want to be aimlessly fighting. Like, if... Okay, so basically, when you're like that... Okay, do you watch The Walking Dead? No, I don't. Okay, well, you can blend in, alright? If you, like, wear blood and, like, you smell really bad, you can blend in with the zombies. So basically, you want to be, like, <clears throat> when you're doing that, and all five of you are, like, pushing that one lane, your four yeah. teammates are zombies, and you're, like, Michonne, which is, like, the black girl that, like, blends in and stuff, okay? And like Michonne, eventually, you have to just wander off with your own sword, okay? And <laughs> that means to go to another lane, okay? Alright, so don't just group up, because basically, I feel like, like... Walking Dead came early, watching that. <laughs> so, like... Oh god. Oh my god. Holy shit, what is Infinity Edge? You're gonna love it. <laughs> What the fuck? That's a nice... Okay. I'm gonna hold on to Smite here, because they're not gonna steal it. What's going on? Oh, look, 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 walking death syndrome again. Oh, I... What? Did you just jump in after Lissandra? Yeah, I didn't die here. I'm just gonna work there. Use pings more, please. Like, like uh, sometimes I, I know that like NA players and probably Euro players too, they're like, oh, you know, don't ping so much, but no. Like, pings exist for a reason. It's because a lot of people, they have different words per minute speed of typing, okay? Yeah. And uh, not everyone can be asked to like actually type, so just spam ping. Especially like, what would you do if you're like talking with Korean or like a Japanese player or a Chinese player and you don't speak their language? Obviously you're going to communicate through pings. So just imagine yeah. everyone in your game is actually like, I don't know, they don't speak English. Okay. Those words come out of Annie's mouth, she's just really good at hitting the keyboard randomly. John just said that 4-6 knowledge. Okay, so we just chunked your carbon and he has to go be. Mm -hmm. Leona just blew flash. Do you suggest that we... Uh, try to take a tower now, or... Uh, yeah. Take, try to take a tower and then peel back through Baron, as long as it doesn't compromise too much of your HP. Okay, well my team is being Baron. I'll run too, okay. I don't... Yeah, that's fine. They're gonna know we're doing it. You had Tibbers! Oh, you could've pinged the tower. You could've said Tibbers and spam pinged the tower. It's fine. Whatever. So right now, all right, you're driving up mid, but it's fine here, is because like you guys have Baron, you're sieging. Now, un like now, it's not fine, okay? Because I feel like you guys are gonna get hit by a fucking solar eclipse. Nar's about to go into mini mode, when he needs to be in mega mode. 
Oh, heaven help me, please. No, just go top. Just ping the wave at top, and then ping top tower, okay? Clear the jungle camp so that you regenerate HP and stuff, and you get mana. Do not fall below, like, 500 mana, though. Now, I know Jarvan's not Feral Flare, but if you were playing a Feral Flare jungler, okay, and you did not 100% know that you would have gotten back to the golems to kill them again as they respawn, it would have just been better to leave the golem. Okay, so now you have two waves shoving. Okay? So, if the Siege at mid breaks, you go top. Alright. What the? We had double kill. And a fight is going a really long time. Nice, 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 nice. W, Q, don't flash. Okay, you got it. What's their death time? Okay, it's been. You win. And there was the wave at top power. Now, let's say the fight didn't go that great. Let's say that went three for three or something. You yeah. would still be able to split one top, one mid. In the the difference in pressure, you know what I mean? The spread out pressure, you'd probably get one of the towers. Yeah. You know? So, yeah. Gosh. Yeah, no, I understand. Like, have we not aged them there? We definitely need to push. Right, because of the, the pushed wave. So, applying multi-pressure is really, really critical. Um, now, yeah. for other stuff, uh, it's hard to see a lack of or not a lack of respect. It, it's hard to see fearlessness, I guess, when you play Kodrix. Um Not because of the champion or anything, but just because of the dynamics of how he plays and maneuvers is different, but um, use pings more. So, like, here, here's what you have to take away from the, the session, okay? So you have to use pings more. You have to not respect your opponents um, in terms of gameplay, not as, like, human beings, okay? Don't go and flame them and say that, you know, they belong as, like, a slave in your backyard or something, like, that's wrong. Um, and then, on top of that, always itemize in consideration to the build, uh, game. This is also even going back to the evolution points that we talked about in the beginning. The other thing is using tab more frequently, not only to check items and itemizations, but to calculate enemy jungler CS. Now, obviously, you know, when the jungler hits, like, level 6, 7, 8, etc., and he has, like, obscure numbers of CS, then it becomes a little bit useless. In the early game, it's really, really critical to do that. Pivotal. Whatever. Um, yeah. Do you have any other questions? Um, I don't know. Uh, so, like, that... Okay, so, like, at the... Uh, you also have to... Dated, yeah, go ahead. Like, Mm -hmm. Um, hypothetically, because I know watching one of your videos, you're talking about, like, don't ever waste flash unless you get an objective for it. No, that's um, approaching mid-game. Okay, so early game, hypothetically, if I could have 100% got the kill on Jarvan, like, I didn't flash there just because I knew that killed me had I gone all in the Jarvan. Right. Um, but had I flashed to get the kill in a situation where you're safe, mm -hmm. um, that's completely worth it, right? Especially because you had double buffs. So. Yeah, of course, that that's completely yeah. worth it. Right. Yeah. The other thing is, um, one habit that I'm, I'm noticing from your playstyle is that you're extremely reactive. Um, and that can be one of your issues with uh, climbing. Okay. Okay? And, but that's...